Hello chess fans, this is Rick from Chess to Impress with the next video in the Alphabet series. We've arrived at the letter I and let's see what your suggestions were. The great Vasily Ivanchuk got 4 votes from Ravento, Radu Mihai, Sami and Joey. And Peter said illegal move is a good option. Indian defense was voted for 3 times by Buya, Mr. T and Roger. Two votes for the interzonal tournaments, the one from 1970 was voted for by Joey and Mateus Penteado said interzonal 1967. An in-between move was an idea from, from Sami, Paul and Igor. The initiative was suggested by Mr. T and the isolated pawn or queen's pawn was suggested by Roger and Subut. The Italian game was an idea from lowercase RHO and Ben said what about the imbalanced position? Well, I have gone for none of those options. I went for Ildiko Madal. And why did I go for that? Well, let me explain it to you. Ildiko Madal was born on the 5th of November 1969 in Tapolka in Hungary, close to Lake Balaton. She received the titles of Women International Master in 1984, Woman Grandmaster in 1986, and International Master in 1992. She was a very strong chess player and still is. She was under 16 girls world champion in 1984 and under 20 girls world champion in 1986. Four-time Hungarian women's champion in 1990, 91, 93 and 99. And she played in 11 Olympiads. Won the Olympiad with the Hungarian women's team in 1988 and 1990. In 88 it was the first time since 1976 that the Soviet Union did not win the Olympiad. And in 88, Madal played alongside the three famous Polgar sisters, Zsuzsa, Zsofia and Judith. And jokingly, she was called the fourth Polgar sister in the reports on that event in 1988. And that's why I picked her. During the event, all the attention, of course, went to the three Polgar sisters. But Ildiko could play a great game of chess herself. And we're going to look at one of those games from the 1988 Olympiad where Ildiko Madal played alongside the Polgar sisters. In this game she is white. In the match between Hungary and Cuba, the black player is Vivian Ramon Pita with a rating of 2200. She was a women international master at the time. Later she became women grandmaster and white as said is Ildiko Madal, women grandmaster with a rating of 2380. And Madal opened with e4 e5, knight f3, and Ramon Pita plays the Philidor defense. d4, takes, takes, g6, knight c3 developing, the bishop goes to g7 of course, bishop e3, knight c6, bishop e2, and now knight f6 is the main move according to the database, but Ramon Pita played knight g to e7 in this game, and the engine does not like that move as much as knight f6. Queen d2 from Ildiko, castling kingside from black and castling queenside from white. Always very exciting to see opposite castling. White will now have to attack on the kingside, attacking black's king, and black has to make sure she gets counterplay on the queenside against white's king. Knight takes, bishop takes, bishop takes, queen takes, and knight c6 with a tempo on the queen. Queen drop back. And bishop e6. And now from move 13, Ildiko Madal decides to throw her whole kingside forward. There we go, h4. And black needs to get counterplay on the queen side. But Ramon Pita is too hesitant, as we'll see. Well, Ildiko plays very energetically on the king side. Queen f6, f4, a6, that's really too hesitant. Only playing that pawn up one square. g4, that's better. b5, and g5 hitting the queen. Queen back, and h5. Ildiko keeps going forward, and black is very far away from creating anything on the queen side. Knight e7, bishop f3, rook b8, and the queen goes to the h-file. The plan is very simple. We want to take on g6 and checkmate on h7. So if you play something like b4, 
then white will just ignore the attack on the knight and take on g6 and it's made in a few moves from here. Nothing black can do against it. After queen h2, Ramon Pita is already in big trouble. There's no defense. She played h6. And after h6, g6, she took with the f pawn to at least create a route for her king to safety. Queen takes, king f7, and f5 came. Attacking the bishop for starters. If you save that bishop, then there is f6. Attacking the knight. If you save that knight, there is queen g7 check. If you go to e8, then e5 is the strongest move. And white will win. And if you go to e6 instead with the king, then bishop g4 check is the strongest move. And there's a force mate on the board already. So after f5, Ramon Pita decided not to save the bishop, but played king e8. White does not win at peace yet, because if you take on e6, then black can take on f3. And that's actually what happens. f takes e6, rook takes f3, not losing a piece. But after rook h to f1 on the 24th move by Ildiko Madol, Vivian Ramon Pita resigned. She's going to be checkmated in a few moves. Instead of rook h to f1, queen g7 is actually the quickest way to checkmate. The threat is rook h8, and all that black can do is interpose his knight and his rook, which will be taken with checkmate as a result. Let's look at one example. Rook f8, hurrying back. There is rook h8, threatening queen takes f8 checkmate, or rook takes f8 checkmate. And if you take that rook, then queen f7 is checkmate. So all that after rook takes f3 and then queen g7, leading to checkmate. As mentioned, Ildiko played rook h f1, black resigned. If she takes on f1, there is rook takes f1, and that will also lead to mate in the same way we just saw. Very nice quick win from Ildiko Madel, who definitely also played a role in that Olympiad win for the Hungary women's team. It was not only about the Polgar sisters. Next time we're going to look at the letter J, and I can't think of any suggestions, but you're always very creative, so please help me and let me know what you think I should cover for the letter J. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to the Chess to Impress channel, and please leave a comment. I will read them all and I will reply to them all. If you liked the video, it would be great if you could share it on social media by clicking the share button on YouTube. You can find me on Instagram, on Twitter, and on Facebook. This is Rick for Chess to Impress. Thank you for watching.